Alright, welcome everybody back to Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows. So, we've cleared the first couple of levels. We now have Treasure Knight and Mole Knight. But before we go there, it's very important that we head to the Armor Outpost. Oh, this is a different part of the Armor Outpost. Mr. Percy is calculating trajectories. I love watching him work. He's always right on target. Hi, Percy. Ah, oh, just in time! I've set our coordinates directly to a faraway trove of treasure and armaments! Best of all, it's completely unguarded. I want to believe you, Percy, but our last direct flight was directly into the ocean. I can't afford another set of waterlogged bombs! Fear not, friend! I've quadruple-checked my numbers! I just need to change out the torsion rod! That's a cheap fix, only 50 cipher coins! A pittance for our institution, yes? I don't know if we have that many. Not a patron of the hard sciences. Maybe Mona wants to fly through the clouds instead. Oh no! Get out of here. Oh no, we're six coins short. Maybe we can grab some here. Maybe. Please. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I'm so glad that we have 50 coins to deal with now. <laughs> I like how Plague Knight goes to, like, the different parts of the towns. Oh, hey! I know that guy! <laughs> hey, Shovel Knight. What, did, what, what skullduggery are you up to, Shovel Knight? Are you paying for other people's hats? What a ripoff. Hi, Percy. Just in time! <laughs> Fear not! All right, cheap fix only 50 cypher coins, yes. Excellent! I'll send you- I'll send for the part! We'll be soaring in no time! Perfect! Now that's one beautiful torsion rod! Hop aboard and the spoils are as good as yours! Alright. I trust you, Percy. This is the same place we were just in, but now we're in the foreground. It's Plague Night! Now's our chance! Everyone get him! Ah, Percy couldn't hit the broadside of a barn! You're cornered! Lay down your chemical weapons and come quietly! Hehehe! <laughs> Quiet, he says! Total silence! Boom! <laughs> I don't think you'll be getting through this fight unscathed! That's what I thought. Just a bunch of knights we gotta fight, no biggie. Even the gold knights serve no real problem. I love this music too, this is like a remix of the Plague Knight boss music. Which is good, because we didn't get to hear the uh, Plague Knight boss music on Plague Knight stage! There we go! Easy. No money! We just proved how incompetent the guards were. Everyone knows the bomb is mightier than the sword! <laughs> Minions, join me! The armor outpost is ours! Whoa! Hee <laughs> You hearing that rumble? No! The armor airship's sailing away! I wanted to get decked out in new armor, though! It's the Aerial Anvil! Looks like a full load of cowards! <laughs> Let's take their themes! <laughs> you think that fancy shop does hoods? I've been thinking about having my blast-proofing taking off. <laughs> no one knows the Magicist is helping us! She's really risking her neck! Hello, bird person! All hail the Trouple King! Who the heck is that? You've never heard of the Trouple King? Half trout and half apple! Oh, and he gets quite upset if you don't if you say it like Troopal. He doesn't need troops. It's more like counsel or doubtful. If you ever visit his grotto, hold your chalice aloft. The Trouple King will appear and bless you with a sacred dance! D dance That's what Mona was doing earlier. Heh, <laughs> maybe he could show me how. As it happens, I have been entrusted to sell Trouple chalices to believers. Would you like one? Yes, I would love one. Where can we find the I-Core? 
We actually we also only get one, whereas Shovel Knight got two. Hey, Chester. Psst! Hey, green guy! I'm loaded with deals that'll blow you away! Why not have a look? What do you got? Big tonic bag! Holds up to ten health tonics! That sounds nice, but I can't afford it. Hey, man! <laughs> if they're not cowards, they're chickens! I'm a rooster, sir, and I've invested in half the town! Do as you must, but I'm unflappable! Oh, he's not a chicken. I just learned that my bomb burst hurts nearby enemies. Now I can feel... Thanks, Tutorial Man. Oh, you're still here. Ah, so you're the one who's scaring off all my customers! It's enough to make a haberdasher flip his lid! I have no idea what the heck that means. Hee <laughs> hee! Do you do hoods? I could use a blast-proof lining on mine! You miscreant! Hoods? That's not even a proper hat! No structure! No support! No flair! Hats are a waste of felt, old man! They fall off in the wind! Hoods are objectively more utilitarian! How... How dare you, sirrah! I demand satisfaction! Have at you! Alright. If you insist. Maybe we'll get to see more of the fight than we did in Shovel Knight's story. Like, more of his hats. We definitely did not see all of his hats in the Shovel Knight campaign. Alright. I think this is a new one. No! He made me drop my leech liquid! No matter. Beat him anyways. Yeah! Five thousand dollars! Still not enough to buy the health tonic upgrade, though. <laughs> wow! For a geezer, you sure put up a fight! How'd you get all those moves? Ah, oh, well, my hats aren't mere fashion accessories. Each one bestows great powers upon me. Whoa! Powers? I'll take ten of your finest hats, then! Sadly, the powers are unique to yours truly. They'd only make you look powerful and classy. Oh, blast! Well, <laughs> uh, see you later, then. Indeed! Ooh! Actually, maybe that is enough. No, it's not. Can't buy the health tonic upgrade. Oh, well. Check out all of these polished palatial homes, so this is how the other half lives. Hello, bird person! All hail the Trouple King! Hail! All hail the Trouple King! The king of fish and fruit! Long may his stem grow! Okay, okay, you're... Alright. Alright there, buddy. Oh! Yes! Yes! It's the Baz! Ah! Polar Knight! I had some business I had to... Oh, no, wait, never mind, it's... Just a commoner! Ugh! Forget the stupid order of no quarter! Maybe I just need a new angle, so we, where I can show off my huge big brain! Hey you! You're a scientist, right? You sure look like one, so if I beat you in a fight, then I'll become a scientist! <laughs> um, I have absolutely no idea what you're going on about. <laughs> I see my natural science talents are already messing with your mind! Check out this string theory! Oh, Baz, I don't really want to fight you, but... I can't let you take my scientist title. Hey, Nintendo Addict. Yeah, that is how it works, right? Oh, yeah. Lightning Baz. You know, we haven't shown off Orbit Casing yet. It's not great. But, hey, it has its uses. Oh, yes! Take that, Baz. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> Looks like the only thing you should be hitting is the books! <laughs> That's one more loss for the pass! Guess I'll just stay here since I ain't good at nothing. I did never want to hurt nobody that much. I just wanted to fit in somewhere. 
But you wanna know what that's like. Would you? Let's recruit him. <laughs> I know somewhere you'd fit right in, but you'd have to observe protocol. There's a uniform. No way! Are you for real? Okay, let's do this. I promise I'll polish every beaker, or am I thinking of flasks? Whatever, let's scrub down. You look great, Baz. Oh, yes! Oh, man, I look awesome! You won't regret this. See you back at the lab, Teach. <laughs> oh, man, I love the Baz. Oh, man, I look awesome! I love how his spikes are poking out of the uniform. It's great. <laughs> yes! With the Baz on our side, how could we fail? Oh, hey, we have enough to buy the health tonic upgrade. Thanks, Baz. I, we stole his pocket money. Yes, I would love that. Alright. Now that we've got the Trouple Chalice, we can go to the pond as well. Hello, Trouple King. Who has awakened me? Mortal, dost thou need... Wait a tick. Alchemist? News of thy villainy has reached the Troupel Pond. Be gone from this sacred grotto! But, uh, my liege, <laughs> I've actually come to learn to d dance. See, I can only sort of twitch. Enough! Disgraceful. Where is the motion? Where is the passion? Thou needst a miracle. Wilt thou receive the gift of rhythm, humble alchemist? Uh, yes. As it so happens, we are miracle workers. No one is without hope. Place is everyone. And now we get another dance from the Trouple King. But it's a different dance. With different music. Hey, Toy Collector, welcome. Um, again, I'll, I'll think about Backyard Baseball characters when I play it again. Aww. The Trouple King just does love to dance. This is how it works in real life. You can just watch him dance, and then you learn how to dance him. Oh! That's an interesting angle for the Trouple King. Makes him look way cuter and less regal. Don't tell him I said that, though. And that's how it's done. A true dancer holds down on the D-pad to practice. I shall grant you my i cores, but only for noble causes. Oh, uh, <laughs> certainly! Noble is my middle name! <laughs> I still require a nominal repentance fee for proper sanctification. Now, choose your i core wisely. Oh, I forgot we had to pay for these. Okay, well, we got the normal one, your original armor. Treasure trappings. Magnetize treasure when you charge a bomb burst, and you drop half as much gold when you fall in battle. That's pretty nice. The goo garment. Bounce off of walls when bomb jumping. May be tough to control. I mean, I'm sure that's a speedrunner's best friend, but yeah, you can accidentally kill yourself with that one a lot. Wardrobe. Heavily plated. Keep your footing when struck by enemies, but stopping may be a problem. That one is amazing for Plague Knight, because he gets knocked back so much. And then, of course, the dandy duds. Flashy armor that increases jubilance by 200%. Doesn't have any actual effect, though. Be well, but walk with care, for the almighty Troupelkeen has his eye on the... So yeah, now we get the ability to dance anywhere we want. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my god. The dancing in this game is adorable. <laughs> he can do the little the little uh, ballroom waltz. Just like Mona's doing. Duck on it. Why is Plague Knight so freaking adorable? <laughs> it's so great, though. Oh, also, I kind of want to go back to... Uh, I want to go back to here, so... <laughs> Fun fact, if you try dancing in front of Mona, <laughs> he just twiddles his thumbs shyly. <laughs> oh man, I, I love it. <laughs> this is the only screen where you can't actually, like, dance normally. As soon as we leave... Oh, yes, how grand! How magnifique! 
Vaz is here now! Hey boss! I swiped these potions from the Magicist when she wasn't looking! You shouldn't have to pay for these, right? Here, take them! Baz is the best! Or the worst, depending on uh, who you ask. My ally, free sheets of paper for 300 gold? Uh, I'll just write on the back. Love can easily be distilled. It all comes down to having the proper chemistry. So that is really all there is. I forget if this is enough for something at the... If I could buy one of the I-Cores now. Aid me. I would still require... No! I'm a couple hundred gold short. That sucks. Okay, we'll have to do the next level as regular Plague Knight. I th yeah, we will. Alright, off to the Iron Whale, Lair of Treasure Knight. I was really hoping I could get... Even the blue armor is nice. Which is the treasure armor, but... This way, I guess we can save up for the dark armor. This level is... well, it's still pretty fun. The anglerfish part is still gonna be dangerous, though. No! My gold! Fell off a cliff! How dare me! Why do people keep asking me about the Tonka games? I've literally never even heard of them before. Now I've got enough gold. Unfortunately, if I leave the stage in the middle of it, I don't get to keep the gold I grabbed. The developers were just thinking of this kind of situation. There's, there have been two or three people that have all asked me about the Tonka games. I'm just like, is this like a conspiracy? Also, as I've said many times before, I don't really take requests unless I explicitly ask for them. And even then, I usually give choices of like, hey, I want to play one of these games. Which would people prefer? It's hard for me to play games that I don't own. Thank goodness that if you get a hit by an enemy into the spikes, you don't actually instantly die. That would be pretty bad. Ooh! Okay, well that green coin right there is a little evil, but we got it anyways. Okay, that was a little too close for comfort. Very narrowly missed the spikes there. You know what? We're going over to Float Burst for this one. Okay, also, this is the standard fuse. We got the long. Let's go, long fuse. Long fuse is honestly generally better unless you really want to hit targets rapidly. That was close. Take that. Oh, that guy's gonna be annoying. How has he not died? There we go. There we go. Come on. Oh, the tentacles are pretty annoying in Plague Knight stage. It's a lot harder to hit their sweet spot than it was for Shovel Knight.
Actually, this is a level where the float burst can be really nice. Or, did I say float burst? I meant the float casing. Because obviously float burst is pretty nice on pretty much every level. Can't leave without the music notes. Percy would never forgive me if I didn't give him every single piece of poetry he wanted. <laughs> there we are! <laughs> uh oh. Which bit you? Thank goodness for the double jump. We would be in a lot of trouble without that. Yeah, we're keeping that checkpoint. Actually, I've been keeping, like, every checkpoint in uh, Plague Knight's story. No! My money! Hello! Okay, great. You know what? I'm gonna just preemptively switch to float casing. Cool, I missed of all of them. Oh wait a second, I have a better idea. Orbit casing. Alright, here we go. Treasure time! The throwing anchor! A worthless relic! Maybe someone else will want the rubbish. Perhaps. Oh, that's weird. Orbit casing wasn't letting me open up the dinner plate. How cruel. No, oh, my money! I've gotta have money. That would be cool if they did. I highly doubt there was one that was officially licensed, though. But a, pu a pup putt Hot Wheels car would be pretty cool. Also, Plague Knight, you were just telling Percy that you can't have waterlocked bombs, and you're literally just underwater right now. I know you have to be, because Treasure Knight and all that, but still. It's not reflecting well on you. Oh, there aren't even the missiles on this screen for Plague Knight. Alright, Cypher Coin, secret area. Okay. It's all about knowing what casing to use. And, yep, float casing, it works tremendously well here. Beautiful. Good job, Plague Knight. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. What makes you think I wasn't a Boy Scout? Shh. 
sh okay. Float casing is not working out as well now. Oh, yes. Oh, shoot, I missed the Cypher coin back there. But this, now we are about to get the best item in the game. Poured in a beaker, stuffed in a bag. Chester's always got the swag. Hey, nice relic, pal. You know I could take that off your hands and give you something a little more interesting. The VAT, an explosive platform that you can even create when airborne. Yeah, this one is crazy freaking good. Literally just, like, we can create a platform out of nowhere. It's like Steve before he was in Ma Mine, uh, in Smash Bros. Also, that's kind of an evil area right there. But if you're missing two Cypher Coins on the level, it's probably those two. Oh, I missed out the money, no! My money! Okay, you know what? Might as well use that for the health refill. And then I immediately get a carrot. I see how it is. How lovely. That's less lovely. My money ran in a pit. Oh boy, this will be fun. It's the Sunday Fun Room. Look at the money! How wonderful. As a general rule of thumb, if you paste a question and I don't answer it, it's not because I didn't read the question, it's because I didn't want to answer it. But fine, I will answer this one. I did not. Oh, doggone it, the stup it's the stupid invincible shell, guys. Literally, we have found the immortal life forms. It's these weird mollusks. I sure hope there are two cypher coins in this room. There's one. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. And we get every cypher coin on the level. Hooray! How wonderful. Alright. For the upcoming boss fight, I think our current strategy is very good. Hey, Treasure Knight. What's the matter, Plague Knight? Alchemy business slowing down? Here to make some coin? Or are the Order's coffers running dry? Can't you just synthesize all the fool's gold you want? Ha! Good guess! But no, it's something far more important than mere gold. More important than gold? Now you're just being ridiculous. Get out of here, you bottom feeder! Ooh, your essence is showing! <laughs> I hope you don't mind if I help myself. Eh, 
again! Well, that's an easy fight. That's a Plague Knight. <laughs> ah, your essence is mine! <laughs> yeah, Treasure Knight's one of the weaker bosses anyways, and Plague Knight just kind of wrecks him. You look like you lost a fight with a pond. Ocean, actually! Had to go liberate the essence of Avarice! Nice place he's got down there. I never understood what he saw in gold. You can just make it from sawdust and mouse skulls. N -n -n Fact check false. Some people do things the hard way. <laughs> let's do some work. So, what are we working on? Uh, let's go to the shop, Mona. I do want to save money for at least one piece of armor, but I'll just save 5,000. That's easy. Uh, let's go get the tracer powder at last. While climbing fireballs. And... Frost burst. That sounds fun. I don't really need the fuses, to be honest. That's two sheets of paper! What, what is this folly? There's some sort of musical notation scribbled all over it. On both sides! There's nowhere for me to write! Useless! Into the trash bin! Thanks, Percy. Iron Whale cleared! Alright, Trumple Pond! You has awakened me- I has awakened you, yes. I would love the wardrobe, please. Yuck! Keep thy beak clean, O plagued one. Return if thou hast further need of my blessings. <laughs> We had to get the Troupel Chalice, but instead of spitting his stuff in the chalice, he spits it on our clothes. But dude, we look so sweet now! Look at this! This is the coolest outfit in the game, by far. We look so boss. We look so boss, it's great. Oh my gosh, I love it. Alright, ooh, Iron Will has some more stuff here. No, with all the money! We lost a lot of money in this room. I am upset. I hope you went down this way, otherwise for no reason we're going to... ...punish you. No, uh, just a couple of treasure chests. Here we go. Oh, guys. I think there was some talk in a previous stream how I don't have a sound alert for mo for getting money. I think I have a good one. <laughs> I'm gonna try- I'll try to add it before the next stream, if I remember. Beautiful. Oh, I love the money. Love it. And also, let's go to the bottomless quarry. Vast riches ahead, but there are too many bottomless pits! If only there was some way to make a platform. I got just the fame. Yeah, I thought there was something hidden there. I mean, I should know. I've played the game before. But I don't remember where everything is. No, it is not. It's not anything related to that. Alright, so we should finish this with 60 Cypher Coins. If all goes well. Or, I'm sorry, 50 Cypher Coins. Oh, look at all that money, too! 
I love it! And we got a music note in there somewhere. That's cool. Well, we can head back here, I guess. Let's go to the shop. Um, I guess we'll buy the other two things. Sentry Fuse and Remote Fuse. And we're all cleaned out. And we're still too shy. Alright, now let's head off to the Lost City, Lair of the Mole Knight! Um, okay, that took a long time to load. Well, I'll do Lone Fuse, and we'll go back to the- or actually, I don't think we ever showed off Bullet Burst. Or, and we definitely didn't show off Ice Burst. Ice Burst is kind of weird. I'm going back to the basic Boy Burst. We gotta be careful in this stage that we don't blow too much stuff up with our bombs that we don't want to. What does that have to do with anything that's happening on the stream right now, at all? <laughs> that coin's a little evil. Oh. Also, I ran out of magic for a so short time. That was almost dangerous. Ah! Okay, that guy's super annoying in Plague Knight's story, because, like, the bombs have to blow up right and directly behind him. Otherwise, it doesn't count. Also, why do the birders have so much health? It's like, they're tiny little bird enemies, and they take, like, five or six hits. Uh-oh. This is why I've got the vat on, <laughs> just for that kind of situation. Also, I love how we're taking almost no knockback damage now. True, and I do like Humongous Entertainment games, but those don't have a whole lot to do with what we're doing on stream today, or with anything that I've been saying during the stream, so it's just a little strange. Pure skill, Nintendo Addict. Pure skill. <laughs> no luck. Platforms, I don't want to say they break the game, but they they make the game so much easier. Because you're going, oh, I'm about to plummet in a bottomless pit. Not anymore. You know what? I'm just going to let that guy live. That's fine. It's not like he can really get out of there. You got the dust knuckles, but they're terrible. I mean, you can't even blow them up. A 
fucking uh, Shoot me down! Oh boy, more adventures with lava fish that pop out of nowhere. My favorite. See, this is why you keep the vat on standby. Always. Oh, all this gold going to waste. Grab that on the way back. I knew there were fish hanging out near there, so I... Woohoo! Not today, fishies. Ah, thank you, Thanksgiving dinner. That's much better. That guy started jumping in midair. What is this rubbish? Oh, this is another one of the best moves in the game right here. Poured in a big earth. Uh, yeah, I got the swag. Hey, let me give you something more interesting. The smoke bomb. Stand in the cloud to become invulnerable, even on spikes. It's like a better version of the phase locket, arguably. Not quite, because the phase locket you can use anywhere, and you do need to use this a little bit in advance, but... Oh man, just you wait. It's so stupid. Not quite as overpowered as the VAT, but it's close. It lasts for as long as we're in the smoke cloud, and it lasts for like a second afterwards, so you get an insane amount of invulnerability from that. So yeah, if this is a casual playthrough, I generally recommend you go to Plague Knight stage last, because the Staff of Surging kind of stinks. Boin? He? <laughs> Still want the bat equipped, though. For obvious reasons. Oh, how grand. That to the rescue! That was close, actually. That very nearly resulted in my, honestly, timely demise. Man, I freaking love how Plague Knight controls. Which I'm quite sure I'm kind of alone in that regard, but... Dane! Just all of his equipment comes together and makes him so freaking good. So much exactly. Plague Knight's pretty much unstoppable once you know how to use him properly. We'll hit the checkpoint first. Woo 
<laughs> money, money, money. <laughs> I didn't trust that. I'm like, it's time for the vat. This could backfire on me, but that's so much money. Plus, I've got the vat equipped. What could be dangerous about that? Plus, I've got the tough guy armor. I'm sorry, the wardrobe. Alright, stupid birders. And there we go, last Cypher coin for the level. How lovely. And with the Smoke Bomb, we might be able to do, uh, Mole Knight, no damage. Also, uh... Should we change our, uh, stuff up? I think I might want Orbit Casing. You've gotta be kidding me! You're the demolitions expert! You're a day late! Don't just stand there, start blasting! Hop to it! Hee <laughs> hee! I'm afraid I'm not exactly here to help with your dig! Would you like to dance, though? But I'm certainly here for demolitions! <laughs> Boom! I should have known you were gonna clown around. Can't let that happen on my watch. Is it because I'm dancing? You're just jealous because you don't have the moves that I do. <laughs> I, lo I love the dance ability. Let's make this quick. Oh, I got hit! No achievement for me. Bye-bye! Still easy, an easy fight, though. Thanks, Orbit Casing. <laughs> Boo! Get him out of here! Rats! So close. Got hit by a fireball at the worst time, though. We've got five essences. We're getting there. Let's relax and let the dynamo decanter do its thing. <laughs> but a watched pot never boils! Sure, but... Right now, something else has caught my eye. This step takes concentration! We must drop the essence in slowly! It's very... Why don't you come over here and help me unjam this lever? The pivot seems to be stuck. It'll take two people to wrench it free. Ooh, me? Oh, oh gosh! I, I just don't know! Oh, I'm, I'm kind of weak and... Oh, oh gosh! Oh, okay, if you insist. Come closer. Don't be shy. I'm right here won't budge. Put your hand over mine. The forces of darkness reign no longer, for I, Percy, have fixed the power. How's it going? Yeesh! That's a nasty stuck lever. Need a hoof with that. No? You're good? Fair enough. I'll be in the other room, doing science. Well, so much for that. Uh, where were we before? Oh. Oh, yeah. That insufferable Mole Knight! Escaping that sweltering lost city had me dancing for joy! <laughs> you. Dancing. That's... I can't even imagine what that'd look like. Um, um... <laughs> you see, uh... <laughs> um... <laughs> yes, preposterous. <laughs> she knew we were dancing with Mole Knight. This ain't good. 
Oh, by the way, take a swig of this health potion I made for you. Maybe it'll help. Another permanent health increase. So, what are we working on? Let's research. Okay, I have a bunch of new toys designed, but we still have to build them. We'll need 80 cipher coins for material. That's exactly how much I have! Yep, that'll do it. Okay, stand back as I test my hypotheses. <laughs> wow, that's my whole notebook. Thanks so much for helping me with my research. It means a lot to me. What's that scribbled in the margin there? Honestly, I'm not sure. It probably wouldn't work, even if we collected every last cipher coin. Anyway, that's everything. Check out our full arsenal. Alright, we have drop casing. Drops bounding bombs at your feet. And whirl casing. Boomerangs back and forth. We also have sparkler powder. Uh, pulses damaging sparks, but the case is harmless, so the explosion is harmless, but it can damage while well casting. Impact views, explodes on contact, and spin burst! Cannonball through enemies and cut them all- Okay, we're definitely getting cannonball burst. That one's great. Uh, as for these, I like world casing. I like the casings. I mean, it's not like we have anything else to buy. We'll buy impact views at a later date. Actually, we might be able to buy it now, if Percy pays us enough money. Man, this science stuff is really hard. And these minions, they're sort of not the sharpest tools in the shed. <laughs> I did say he would fit in perfectly. <laughs> yes, you did. My ally, three sheets of paper, sharps, flats, time signatures, and a hell right on the back. I nearly forgot, here's a romance tip from Sir Percival. The trajectory of a woman's heart is merely a matter of ballistic physics. Solve the equation. Was this guy raised in a barn? Funny, funny you should mention that. So bounce casing is kind of weird. Then we got the whirl casing. Ah, well. It's kind of cool. And also, Cannonball Burst is great. It's like the standard burst, but you also damage enemies all through it. It's great. <laughs> yeah, Spreenman's weapon! We all remember how amazing Spreenman's weapon was, right? It was so good! Wild Coil! <laughs> Mona, I'd like to buy your last impact fuse. She's like, <laughs> Explodes on contact. Mona, you don't gotta look that crazy. That's the sentry fuse. Remote fuse. Boom. Impact fuse is pretty good. But I think I still prefer the lone fuse. <laughs> I love how I've not really used anything other than the black powder, because it's just so good. <laughs> Alright, I should probably use some of the other powders as well. Oh boy, it's an enemy. Back to Spectre Knight stage. Again? Bruh, they ain't, they ain't even, even close. Thing to watch out about the Cannonball Fuse, though, is you can accidentally destroy too many dirt piles with it. You don't want to do that. Ho ho! Actually, I'm trying to remember, is there any- Oh yeah, the only thing we have left to buy are the all of the Trouble Armors. I also love how, like, Plague Knight and Shovel Knight kind of get the same stuff, but just in a different way. Really? How was I... How was I not on the ledge? How the heck was I not on the ledge?
Let's just get out of there. Uh, Hall of Champions! Let's see what this is all about. Hello! One ticket, please! Plagna! I... I mean, welcome, uh, patron! Nothing suspicious happening here! <laughs> okay, I believe you. There he is! The Order's Alchemist! Get him! He can't beat everyone! All I heard was, beat everyone! Cause you said it in red. <laughs> We're turning off the lights in here instead of turning them on, that's great. Let's go over to Impact Fuse if we have Tracer Powder on. Oh, excuse me, lady. I didn't talk to you. Gods, destroy him now! Haha! <laughs> now this is what I pay my taxes for. Taxation is theft, don't you know? <laughs> Do whatever you want. Just don't destroy the paintings. They're so beautiful and valuable. Wouldn't dream of it. I wonder if Plague Knight can fight the Battle Toads as well. That would kind of make my day. And man, the Tracer Powder is kind of like, uh... Tracer Powder is a little bit like the uh, Plug Ball from Mega Man 9. I hope they catch you, you brutish horrible thug! Excuse me, that is very rude. Oh, that's right, the paintings actually have Cypher Coins in them. Well, good. Our Cannonball Burst is already making dividends. Dude, I love this music. Then again, any remix of Plague Knight's boss music is good to me. You feel you fight admirably, but unfortunately. Ouch! You know what? That's fine. I had to go back and destroy all the paintings in the basement anyways. Yeah, I don't... I don't think so. I have other guys like, don't destroy the paintings! I'm like, what? Did you say destroy the paintings? Me off, eh? All right. So we need to finish this again with twenty cipher coins. that. You're not welcome here. This is Plague Knight's art museum now. Plague Knight is a huge proponent of the arts, after all. Thank you for destroying some of these paintings. Honestly, it's cathartic for me, too. <laughs> he hates the arts. 
He's like, look, most of these paintings are modern art, and that's not even real art. For a fellow bird, is something a fowl. I think this place may be haunted. It's your imagination, my lady. Oh, doggone it. No Battletoads fight for Plague Knight. I wanted to fight the Battletoads as Plague Knight. That would have been so fun. Come at me, bro. Ha-ha! <laughs> we surrender! Please stop your attack! And I got all my Cypher Coins, too. Have mercy! You can keep everything you pilfer during your rampage! Here, take this gold, too! Actually, trading against a villain like you is good for morale. Maybe we could work together somehow. <laughs> it was my pleasure. Okay. Let's see. Let's go to Polar Night next. Time for research. Ouch! Well, that's right, the bombs on this level are a lot more dangerous to Plague Knight, because he'll blow them up accidentally all the time. Oh, that's right! I thought my max HP was looking a little low. Oh, Plague Knight is having a hard time <laughs> moving, though. I think that Polar Knight has the most underrated psalm on his stage. It's real good. Hey, it's go. Invincibility frames while looking for the treasure chest. Just as the Founding Fathers intended. Ooh! Cypher coin passageway? I would love it. Ooh, that's that's where the uh, the cartwheel burst is uh, dangerous. Uh, dubs! Ouch, my toe! Rats. Yeah, it's fine. It's a flesh wound. We can recover from that. The smoke bomb can save you from spikes, but not from being crushed.
I forgot that the Vat could actually blow enemies up. That's a nice touch. Hey, some- you know how sometimes when you, like, hit your toe on something hard, that can just be more pain than anything? I think that's what Plague Knight experienced. It's like the equivalent of hitting your funny bone. There ain't nothing funny about it. What could be in here? Why, it's the Warhorn! Boo, who cares about that? Oh wait, I guess that can save you from being crushed. Wow, dang, that's even better than I remember. Oh, no, we don't need the five. We don't need the free golden coins. Ouch. I did not think that that was going to hit the big block. That's okay. It's just a short walk over. There we go. And just like that, it was like we never died. Except Plague Knight still has all the memories. Oh, that's right. This is the room that killed me a whole bunch of Shovel Knight. Ooh. Ooh. For me? Why, you're too kind. Three hundred dollars is more money than I've seen in my life. Oh yeah, guys, it's so sad we don't get to use Rainbow Barf this time. Truly a tragedy. That's the bad news. The good news is we don't have to use Rainbow Barf because we don't need it. We're too good for Rainbow Barf. Our power is far exceeded. This level can definitely be tricky if you don't have the VAT, though. I love Plague Knight's downward attack, downward bomb throw attack. Mmm, an apple. Ice physics. Forgot about that little thing. That burst did... Uh, how... How did you know that was where I was going to be? Ha ha! That was nearly bad! Thank you for the turkey. Turkey and bombs, what is a better combination? 
checkpoint is tempting, but I think I'd rather have the checkpoint than the money now. Wow! I got the swag! Hey, I can give you something interesting. Berserker's Brew! Damage enemies on contact without getting knocked back. This is such a fun idea! So now, instead of we, instead of us taking contact damage from enemies, it's the other way around. It's pretty fun. I mean, it's not broken, like the flat, like the smoke bomb and the, uh, that, but still. Oh, you do still? Oh, never mind, that sucks! I thought you didn't lose health from it. Never mind, that sucks! And you even have to use that preemptively. Forget that. Oh well, you win some, you lose some, I guess. Oh ho! Do 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 do. Aha! I could go for a turkey dinner right about now. That would be pretty swell. I guess a music sheet is also nice. Nah, okay, I won't get- I was like, maybe I can smoke bomb and then damage boost on the spikes! Beep, beep, beep. I'm okay. Pure skill. Pure skill. Ha <laughs> Alright, here we go. There we go. That's our max HP. Fish out that bait bomb. Thank you. Oh, this'll be a good one for smoke bomb as well. We also can go to impact views. Boom! <laughs> You got something in your ears. Humph, <laughs> weakling. <laughs> You're likely figured out why I'm here, yes? I need something that you have. You know, I never liked you, wizard. Masks, books, cheap tricks. You're nothing but a weakling. Wee! <laughs> How grumpy. Let's settle this with a snowball fight. Excuse me. No fair! I It would not let me use the smoke bomb at the very beginning. I pressed up and that so many times. It. If it had actually registered my smoke bomb, I would have done that no damage. Oh well. We still trounced him. 
Look at all that money! We might be able to buy all of the remaining armors from the Tropical Cane. Are those icicles I see on your mask? Are you alright? What happened? Polar night happened! And I wouldn't mind a tropical beach getaway right now, Mona. Perhaps, when this is all over. But let's focus. We're almost ready. Good call. My ally, four sheets of paper! Oh my gosh, there's so much music on here! Oh. We can throw all of these different types of bombs in Oolong now. Depending on what powder we use. Feet accomplished! Poor Oolong! Yeah, poor Oolong. I feel so bad. It's the Black Knight. Okay, I know, but no Black Knight. I don't want to. I don't want to fight you right now. Let's go back to the Tropical Pond. Oh, do you need aid? All right. Well, obviously we want to buy the Dandy Duds. Yuck! Keep thy beak clean, O plagued one. Return if thou hast further need of my blessings. All right, and oh yeah, we can buy the rest. <laughs> this one also looks really cool. That's another good armor. Yuck! <laughs> and here we go. The wall the wall bouncing one. That one's a little too hard to use though, so I think I'm still sticking with the wardrobe. Or the wardrobe. Oh, dug on it. The Black Knight is blocking my path. I have to fight him. This is all getting too risky. I can't lose him. I'll reward you however you want. Just do this for me. Why would I help you? Why would I hope that miserable lunatic sees power and beguile the Magicist? What's in it for you? Magicist? Are you kidding me? You're just trying to talk up your asking price. Then, there's the other matter. I can't be bought at any price. What are you two doing here? So, the Magicist, huh? But what about her? Is she okay? Let me ask you something, Plague Knight. Where do I fit in with your big plans? Are we partners? Are we more? Wait, I... 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 Oh, Mona, come on now! <laughs> you wouldn't think I would do that to you, would you? Look at him, b b busted c c can't even formulate a response. <laughs> what a wimp. Just because I'm shyly twiddling my fingers. This whole time, I thought we were in this together. Was I just a tool to you? I need some time to think about all this. I did not call you a tool! <laughs> wow, what was her problem? Unless you think your problems end here, you continue to threaten the Enchantress? Prepare to taste steel. Excuse me. Mona was the best, and you just ruined my friendship with her, so you going down! Blah, 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 blah. Actually, the Black Knight's a trickier fight than most of the Order of No Quarter, because it's hard to stun lock him in place with the bombs. Boom! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, that's what you get. Now get out of my way! Yeah, run away, run away, coward. Mo 
Mona? Hey, where'd she run off to? Oh, Mona! Good hair! Woo! Percy on deck! I love riding that fiend! Hey, Mona was in a hurry! Gavard Safinza took off! Is she ill? Well, no matter! Rain or shine, Percy will fill in as needed! Is she really gone? I don't want to talk to Percy. How extravagant. Nothing against you, Percy, but uh, you're, you're no substitute for Mona. Alright, we'll, we'll play Tinker Knight stage and then we'll end the stream. This is a shorter stage than the last few, so... I actually like Percy. <laughs> Percy's one of my favorite characters in this act. He's probably my favorite side character, who, do who doesn't have a lot of importance to the overall plot. I literally always forget I even have the Staff of Surging. It's pretty bad. Like, it would be one thing if the Staff of Surgeon was actually like, a really powerful attack, but it's not. It's like, it's okay, I guess. Here we go. I don't need to pogo across that. I'm just good. And here we go. Boy, <sighs> that was a close one. But ha cha cha, we got through it. Oh boy, the mobile gear, a worthless relic. It's probably not worthless to Tinker Knight, though. Spadoosh! Excuse me, that was very rude. Oh wait, that's the wrong way. I'm literally just looping back around. Whoops. I'm like, why is this just bringing me back here? It's because you gotta go this way, Artie. Oh well, no harm done. Ah, good. My turkey. Now, which way is the way we're supposed to go? Clearly, that is the way I'm supposed to go, so...
so often it's like, which way do they want me to go? Because whichever way that is, I want to go the opposite way. Because the other way has secrets and goodies. And speaking of goodies... <laughs> the Plague Knight voice is one of my favorite voices. Alright, Chester. Alright, I got the Fleet Flask. Explode into a frenzied dash. This one is... interesting. Oh look, it's bad! Or rather, I just don't know how to use it properly. Wow, that's right, there are only four checkpoints on this course. Well, we got all the three different potions now. <laughs> Kaboom! Kaboom, indeed. Actually, that just accurately summarizes Plague of Shadows. That was close. Almost ran off a cliff. You got for my catapult burst. How could you? I feel like maybe this level could have used an additional checkpoint. Like, this is quite a gap between checkpoints. Oh no, it's it's the cur it's the curse of the max health again. That was close. Maybe we can do Tinker Knight without taking damage. That would be nice. We can't beat Tinker Knight's rats without taking damage. That's that's way too difficult. I hate auto scrollers. No, you but He knocked me in the spikes, like a little tool. There we go. No auto score for me. Ah, oh, how delightful. Ouch. Oh, that's not very nice. No match for me. These guys are weird, where they, like, use staple guns to shoot gears.
I don't think there are any cipher coins down here, but we gotta try. Nope, they're not. Okay, we're good. Oh no, auto scores. I'm surprised they didn't crush me, but I'm very happy it didn't. all the cypher coins. How wonderful. Beautiful. Alright, let's get out that smoke bomb. For this, we're gonna use Whirl Casing. And where's the Sentry Fuse? I think that's the Sentry Fuse? Yes! That's what we're gonna do. That should make things a little bit easier. Look, it's Plague Knight! I heard thought you might or I heard you might show up. Why have you come here? Ah, the esteemed inventor! I do so respect your craft. <laughs> Relinquish your essence and you won't be harmed. What? I don't think so, bird mask. You have your own brain. Use it or lose it. Are you for real? He has way more reach than dog on you. I'm not gonna greet any of these guys, no damage. We'll get out lob casing now. With the uh quick fuse. Tinker tank is really easy as Plague Knight. We can just use lob casing to obliterate him. Yep, and he's gone. <laughs> You're no match for the power of bombs! Now we've got more money than what we know what to do with. It's just so delightful! Oh, now Tinker Knight! There's an engineer who knows ballistics! Too bad he doesn't know he's out when he's outmatched! Heh, <laughs> yeah! I asked nicely, but he was too stubborn. <laughs> Percy kicks the lever like an actual horse. <laughs> Alright, well, Percy, uh, this, this really just isn't the same. Alright, so now we just have the worst stages left alongside the uh, Phantom Striker. Well, we went a little over time this stream, but that's okay. A lot of fun. I'm having a blast with play Plague Knight Story in more ways than one. So on Wednesday, we will be finishing up the Plague of Shadows campaign, and if we finish early, we can do some of Plague Knight's challenges, and then we can move on to Spectre Knight's campaign afterwards. So, yeah, that'll be fun. Thanks for joining in tonight, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless.